Hi guys, it's Ben here. How's it all going? Now, two people need to apologise to. Need to apologise to Liverpool fans for being at a Chelsea game. Um, very much an impromptu day trip. This uh, got a free ticket uh, earlier today for a Champions League game, so I thought, why not? Uh, and apologise for Chelsea fans who have come here expecting me to be singing and dancing about them. Um, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I'm a Liverpool fan. Don't know anyone in here hear that. But I'm here. I've arrived just in time for Chelsea versus Carabag in the Champions League. Time to get some food straight away, take our seats, and watch some free Champions League football. Cannot complain. Very easy for Chelsea this, 2 0 half time. Um, Chelsea rating 8 out of 10, Carabag rating 3 out of 10, food rating so far, uh, burger and chips 8 out of 10. I'll explain why later. Very impressed with the food. It's 5-0, don't want to get up again, this is quite boring now. That's why he's a 6-0, I think it might have been an own goal. This is embarrassing. Why are this team in the Champions League? So I'm back in Stratford after watching Chelsea absolutely dismantle Carabag 6-0 in the Champions League at Stamford Bridge. Um, look, free tickets for that one. Fortunate enough to get them on the day. Um, so yeah, I can't really complain. I wasn't going to turn them down. Free Champions League football with my mate. Um, so thank you to the people that sorted that out for me. Um, I've, got a, I've got quite a lot of quite a lot to say, to be honest. Um, I'll, st I'll start off with, with, with Chelsea. Um, Stanford Bridge, I've been there before, but uh, I always talk about the food. Um, I think I said earlier in the video that I gave an 8 out of 10. Um, can't complain with the food at all. There's a lot of variety. Um, look, it's, it's on the pricey side, of course, it's Chelsea. Um, I think I ended up paying over £11 for a burger, ch uh, chips, which were sensational, like uh, lattice fries and uh, a bottle of water. But the burger was very nice, high quality burger, real quality, proper burger that, um, you know, real nice sort of crunchy onions in there, tomato, uh, cheese, um, the meat was quality, so you'd expect that, of course, it's Chelsea, but um, can't argue with that. But the main thing I want to talk about isn't really anything to do with Chelsea. Um, by the way, Chelsea fans watching this, I'm, if, if any of you hate me, then you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I did go to the game. Those tickets could have gone to a lovely Chelsea fan. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're going to give me those comments. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, great performance from you guys tonight, fair enough. Um, sure you're going to qualify from the group which brings me on to my point really which is I've just watched Chelsea 6 Carabag nil in the Champions League and I knew from the start it was going to be Chelsea 6 Carabag nil or, or something of that ilk um, we, we talk about we talk about all the time how the World Cup qualifiers have become pointless 
how the European Championship qualifiers have become pointless because you've got teams like San Marino and Andorra who are just taking batterings uh, every time. That, that Carabag side turned up at Chelsea tonight to not get battered or to, to, to not get absolutely humiliated. Um, they did get humiliated in the end anyway, 6-0. They had absolutely no intent uh, to attack and I'm not having a go at them, I'm not having a go at them at all. And, I mean, fair play to their fans coming over, knowing they're going to take a pattern, um, but coming over, you know, small allocation I know, but fair play. Um, the, the, the thing that bothers me is we have to sit through these games, and it's been the case for the last few years, um, well, for however long really, we have to sit through these mundane, pointless, uh, absolute golfing quality between the two sides games. Um, and this isn't the only one, Chelsea 6, Carabag 0. Tomorrow, Real Madrid at home to Apoel. We've seen PSG beat Celtic 5-0 tonight. Bayern Munich at home to Anderlecht winning 3-0. Um, Man United, Basel's even a bit of a mismatch. Basel, I suppose, are no mugs. But there are a lot of teams, that, there are a good few teams in this Champions League and every Champions League who are just the whipping boys. What is the point? What's the point? Uh, people complain uh, at managers when they rest players in, Europe, in European competitions. People moaned at Arsene Wenger when he uh, didn't want to play Petr Cech, instead he used the Champions League to play off Spina. Um, the Champions League is supposed to be the most prestigious competition in European football. It's supposed to be the one which you aspire to qualify for. Um, it's supposed to be the be all end all. It's supposed to be the one which players go to certain clubs to play in the Champions League. But the best players, if they want to play in the Champions League, if they're the best players, they're probably going to be rested in the Champions League. Morata was rested for Chelsea tonight. David Luiz wasn't playing. I'm not sure why that was. Um, uh, Hazard wasn't playing, but I think his may be due to injury. But, I mean, Christensen played. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to question decision-making behind any of the... Any of the uh, tactical decisions made by Conte. I mean, Chelsea fans will probably, probably correct me. But I'm expecting wholesale changes for Liverpool tomorrow. I'm expecting people to be rested. You know, it's, it's, this, might, it's, this is seen as a good chance to rest players. Why has it come to that? Why is the Champions League not the one you look forward to the most? Um, I'm not sure why this has suddenly come to me tonight. Obviously, I've just seen a, an absolute 6-0 demolition. And, and, and the golfing quality is... To, look, any Premier League side, anyone, I include Huddersfield, Brighton, Newcastle, West Ham, whoever would have given Chelsea a better game than what Carabag just did. Um, now, if you took the six worst teams in this Champions League and replaced them with the six best teams in the Europa League, the Champions League would be a strong competition. If you took the six best, you took the six worst teams from this Champions League and replaced them with six Premier League teams that aren't already playing in Europe, it probably becomes a bit of competition. Um, I'm not saying we should necessarily get rid of teams from Azerbaijan playing in the Champions League. They're, of course, professional footballers. They deserve their chance. Um, I don't want to be disrespectful to them at all. That's not what I'm getting at. If, but this competition would be better with AC Milan, Arsenal, uh, I don't know, Lazio, or teams that aren't in this competition. Um, what's the solution? Sh sh you know, should five or six English teams or five or six Spanish teams, Italians, uh, be in it automatically. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. Um, but I, don't, I, I just, I just feel like the Champions League is getting very stale. Um, it doesn't get interesting until the quarterfinals, and even then, it's the same teams towards the back end of it uh, because they're not having any challenges until late on. They're, they're playing Carabag and Apoel and, and Anderlecht. Like something isn't quite right about the Champions League something I don't look forward to a Champions League night anymore it's I'd rather see League Cup football <laughs> or something that's a bit more competitive the, the, the group stages of the Champions League have always been the most the last sort of six seven years have been the most boring pointless going through the motions games I've ever seen um, and that's a shame because it's it, it is an elite it is the elite competition in Europe uh, it's the one Liverpool have won five times obviously got a place in my heart because of that uh, what do you guys think? What do you make of the Champions League at the moment? Has it lost its magic? Has it lost its mojo? Am I just whining for no reason? Uh, I'm not whining, I'm just trying to make a point about it's just not competitive. It's just not competitive until the latter stages. Is there something we can do? Is there something that UEFA can do to make it a bit more interesting? Uh, because I don't want to come here and see Chelsea 6 Carabag nil. I don't want to be watching that on TV. Who does? Who wants to see that? Who wants to see Chelsea being able to rest players and still beat the champions of, of, a, of a certain division 6-0? Um, 
it's not entertaining to me. Uh, this rant's coming probably a bit too long, so I'll end it there. Uh, Liverpool play tomorrow against Sevilla. Uh, looking forward to that one. The Reds back in the Champions League, hopefully. I mean, with our group as well, with Maribor and Spartak Moscow, we should advance easily. I mean, we should really put Maribor to the sword, just like Chelsea put Carabao to the sword. So, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. It's not been my usual sort of match day vlog. This is sort of a, an impromptu one, but uh, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, all that sort of stuff. And follow me on my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.